Arabs are better served under Israeli government than under the Palestinian Authority government. Arabs are. I'm sorry, what? Wait, wait, I'm sorry, what? When they're in the ground dead, that's where a majority of Palestinians end up. What are you. A majority of Palestinians end up. How dare you say something? I was in Hebron. I was in Hebron. I, I was in Hebron three weeks ago. You know what happened? If a Jew goes. If, if a Jew goes to Hebron, their head will get... What's up, amazing people, and welcome back again to my channel. Yeah, welcome back to another reaction video. And guys, the title of this one is Hamas Sympathizers Start Yelling At Facts. Oh my goodness. Guys, I've been reacting to a lot of Charlie Kirk videos, and I am really, really finding them so intriguing. And guys, let's check this out. Who ran Gaza up until 2005? No. Israel did. Israel used to occupy the Gaza Strip. 10,000 Jews left Gaza. The IDF totally withdrew. Why did Israel do that? You tell me. You're the one at the table. To pursue peace. Because they, they were promised a peace deal if they got out of Gaza. And then? then Hamas took over as mayor of Gaza, and it's now a hot tub for terrorists, where there are thousands of rockets so every single the, month. Where was the that happened after they withdrew. Exactly. Israel signed a peace accord and the PA violated it. But so so this is the way peace... Occupying territory. They weren't occupying. They got out. But you just said Israel occupied that territory Correct. Gaza until they got out. So that's not... No, no. But they got out on a condition of peace. So they said, we will get our 10,000 Jews out of Gaza. So 10,000 Jews used to live in Gaza. Like recognize that they were occupying someone's territory and that's on Well, so, so who, who is Gaza's territory? Who's is that? Egypt. It's been it's been Egypt for two thousand years. Okay, so how so since you're you understand this maybe, um, how did Israel win back that territory? Right. So in the nineteen sixty seven war, they pushed back Egypt all the way to their borders, and so they they gave up the Sinai Desert in pursuit of peace with Egypt. That worked. That worked. So then they kept the occupation of Gaza, which there's factories and rolling hills and vineyards, a lot of wealth there. There's two million people that live in Gaza, more or less. 10,000 Jews lived on the eastern skirt of Gaza. So in pursuit of peace, in the 2005 peace talks, Israel said, you know what? We want peace. In you can never win an argument with Charlie Kick. It comes with facts. Oh my goodness. And the fact that these students don't really know the history is what is... As a condition, we'll get out Ooh. if you guys have real peace with us. Stop launching rockets, stop building terror tunnels, stop He's killing Charlie our children, all these sorts oh of things. Goodness. Are he you pro or? Can I ask a question? Sure, happy to. What formal education do you have? Plenty. I mean, formal education. Like a if, if you're going to argue, if you're going to argue from authority, that's a logical fallacy. Tell me why I'm wrong. Don't tell me how many degrees you have. Don't ask me to change the conversation. I'm, I'm actually. I, I would. I would argue I'm more informed because I didn't go to college and I've traveled the world, and I've met with world leaders, and I've read many books. So tell me, how am I oppressive? Can you name one example of how I'm oppressive? I can name a lot of examples. Can you name one? Name one example of how I'm oppressive, because you just said it. Well, no, they just don't have facts. Can you tell me one time that I've been wrong about anything I've said? Tell me a time that Israel has launched... You, they didn't. They're, they're attacking Hezbollah. That was, it's within their borders. It was to Lebanon. They don't just attack Lebanon. Hezbollah occupies southern Lebanon, which is Iranian-funded, is it not? Really? I had no idea. Thank you for informing me. Anytime. Because Maybe so if you didn't go to college, you would learn more. Oh, you're so right. You're so right. Here, here's the thing. But, like, IDF is a terrorist organization. How is... I, the IDF is a terrorist organization? Yeah. No, according to a lot of people... Wait, hold on a second. The ID... Not me, but, like, a lot of countries around... Why is it that they haven't built a new school or hospital in the last five years? Hundreds of millions of dollars pour into Gaza. It's because Hamas runs Gaza right now, and they're a terrorist organization. So Israel got out of Gaza in 2005 in the pursuit of peace. 10,000 Jews were actually forced out of their homes in the pursuit of peace. Gaza got more dangerous, a hot tub for terrorists. You know where Hamas's money is being spent? On terror tunnels and rockets being shot towards Tel Aviv. Where were those two rockets shot two weeks ago out of? They were shot out of Gaza. Yeah, two rockets. Oh, what's the big deal? Yeah, wh wh who cares when Jews have rockets shot at them, right? Because Israel is, is fighting a defensive right for its own national sovereignty. All Israel has done since 1967 is go backwards. All Israel has done. The UN sent an Asian diplomat, I forget his name exactly what it was, to go investigate crimes against humanity in Gaza. Israel did not allow him to enter Gaza because they said his visa wasn't valid. And that was published in an Israeli newspaper. Okay, so I'll have to look into that. If that's the case, then I'll, I'll say that you're correct. Um, but here's the question, though. So Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East right now. They're practicing democracy. Muslims, Jews, and Christians... Well, they, they, they can. 
hold, hold on a second. Hold, hold, first of all, many Palestinians in Palestinian Authority that is in Zone B, not Zone A, can vote in elections. Secondly, secondly, here's the question. Do you want, so you want them to be able to vote both in PA elections and Israeli elections? Why hasn't the PA had an election in 12 years? Mahmoud Abbas is a dictator of the PA that uses the money and the aid that we give him to enrich himself. Oh, Mahmoud Abbas, hold on a second. A hold on. Oh, hold on, but I thought he was democratically elected. So why don't you guys have students against the Palestinian Authority, not students against Israel? The Palestinian Authority... The Palestinian Authority isn't holding guns against Palestinian children. Oh, I, I thought... Well, Palestinian Authority was democratically elected 12 years ago. Mahmoud Abbas has not had any checks and measures against him. In Nablus, he lives in a 25,000 square foot mansion. Here, here, here's the bottom line, is that Arabs are better served under Israeli government than under the Palestinian Authority government. Arabs are... I'm sorry, what? Yeah, wait, wait, I'm sorry, what? When they're in the ground dead, that's where a majority of Palestinians end up. What do you, a majority of Palestinians end up, how dare you say something like that? There's, there's 15 and a half million people that live in the Palestinian Authority. Half of them end up, you're, you're trying to tell me that seven and a half million Palestinians, is that what you're trying to say? That's, I've never seen that number. Well, it's actually like, so 50 and a half million is if you count the PA and Israel together. You're right, it's more like, it's more six million in Palestinian Authority, nine and a half million in Israel proper. So it's about 15 combined. So six million, so you're trying to tell me three million people have been killed? Three million people have IDF? That's not even close to being killed. Yeah. So let me, let me ask, let me ask. There's a difference, listen to me, listen to me. There's a difference between Zionism and anti-Semitism. Then build, build out that, build it out for me. you don't support the state of Israel doesn't mean... So let me get this straight. You, you, you don't hate Jews, you just hate the Jews' right to exist in their homeland. Okay. Wait, hold on a second. That's wait, wait, wait. a. They're not black. So wait, you want me to exist? Yeah, exactly. Like, so that, that, that's one of the worst identity <laughs> politics <laughs> arguments. Just because black. I'm not <laughs> something, it doesn't okay. make me wrong. No, no, that, no you are not. You don't have it's an apartheid state of Israel. That's not. That's not in line with conservative politics. How's how so? Because there is no separation of church and state. The why? The why can? Let me ask you a question. Why can Christians freely practice their religion in Israel? But Jews can't freely practice their religion in the Palestinian Authority. How are Jews not practicing? What happens if an Israeli citizen goes into a Bethlehem? What, what happens if a Jew goes into Bethlehem? What happens if a Muslim goes into Jerusalem? They can go to a mosque. That's what happens. Do you know what happens at Al-Aqsa? Do you know what happens? Al-Aqsa Mosque? Yeah. Well, hold on a second. They have full access to Al Aska Mosque. I was there myself. I was around 500 Muslims on the Al Aska Mosque. Hold on a second. Jews' heads are in Hebron if they go to Hebron. Jews and Israelis are not allowed in Palestinian Authority. So I, I was in Hebron three weeks ago. You know what happened? If a Jew goes, if if a Jew goes to Hebron, their head will get cut. They're not allowed in the Temple Mount. You do know that, right? No, I'm saying. Muslims going into Al-Aqsa. Right, so yes. I, it, it's very hotly debated. No, actually, when no, I was is. there, I was praying at Al-Aqsa, and I saw is IDF soldiers coming in while I was praying. Did they, they stop you? That. Did they stop you from praying? They, they throw, like, tear grass. No, no they don't. Not the Al-Aqsa mark. Did they stop you from praying? I shouldn't be in fear while but I... But they don't do what you, you say they're doing. I'm just telling you. It's not true. Did they, but I, I, I don't think you're representing reality. So let me ask a question. I I I was there. You you should not be able to prove your religion. You should be able if a Muslim. Okay, that's a really interesting point. So Jews should be allowed on the Temple Mount because the Muslims don't allow them on the Temple Mount right now. So Jordanian control the Temple Mount. It was since the Prophet Muhammad. It was it was it was there since the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, so do you think? Here's the thing. So you think? Do you think Jews should be allowed on the Temple Mount? So you don't think it's a Temple Mount, because if you do, that's the very interesting thing. If you just say it's a Temple Mount, I, I'm putting you in a, admittedly, in a very difficult position, because Muslims do not recognize it as a Temple Mount. Right, they recognize it as their place of worship, and it's been that way since the beginning. No, it's been the Temple Mount since King David, thank you very much. So, I mean, you could say whatever you wanted to say. I, it's a huge point. It's actually, like, it's one of the biggest inhibitions of peace. I think that Jews and Muslims and Christians should all be allowed to go to the Temple Mount. Right now, Muslims do not allow Jews to go into the Temple Mount. One rabbi is allowed to go in once a year. That's it. That's, that, that's the treaty. Why is that? It's that how is that fair? Why are Jews not allowed to go? But it's, I, I mean, Muslims are allowed to go to their holy sites. You, you just said you were allowed to go. Okay, but people, doesn't mean that other people aren't allowed to go. 
I, I, and if, if that's the case, then I'll totally denounce it. But you, you are a living example that you were allowed to go down. <laughs> Maybe if you didn't go to college, you would have known more. Oh my goodness, that was so, so sarcastic as a too many plus. And I'm like, what? If you can be this intelligent by not going to college, who would have thought that Charlie did not actually go to college and he is this intelligent? You can never win an argument with Charlie K because it comes with the fact and there is nothing he has actually said that has actually turned out to be a lie in the long run guys please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section but charlie kick absolute dismantle this student oh my goodness feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section do well to subscribe and turn on your bell icon for more content okay and i'll definitely see you all in my next reaction video bye guys yeah, yeah.